हेलो आपका गुफ्तु में फिर से एक बार स्वागत है मैं आपको आज एक इंसिडेंट बताना चाहूँगा वेल यू नो माय अर्लियर चाइल्डहुड वाज स्पेंट इन जंगल माय फादर बीइंग फॉरेस्ट ऑफिसर एंड वेल well uh, he was in a job which uh, needed a frequent transfer so we almost uh, spent our entire childhood uh, in a very deep uh, tropical forest of jharkhand uh, uh, madhya pradesh uh, chatisgarh etc etc so uh, normally in the jungles you associate with this ferocious uh, animals like uh, tigers uh, uh, leopards panthers and lion but uh, very seldom you uh, get a chance to see these uh, uh, ferocious animals uh, and most of the times uh, what you see is uh, normal uh, 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 deers of uh, various kind the barking deer the spotted deer samur uh, nilgai hyenas jackal different kind of birds even crocs uh, uh, like that uh, wolves of course uh, like that and uh, uh, if you're really interested in seeing a tiger you need patience in fact you need lot of patience uh, and uh, uh well uh, but uh, when you get a chance to see a tiger well take my word my dear friend nothing is more majestic it's a once in a lifetime experience when you really come face to face uh, with the big cat and when you look into his eyes what do you see you see you see power you see you see regal you see the uh authority and you also see the fear uh there is nothing more beautiful and more thrilling when you come across a real tiger and that too in a forest well i was privileged uh, my father was in forest uh, and uh, well uh, you know those uh, days i'm talking about uh, a time long long ago when uh, uh, we didn't have these uh, malls uh, uh, we didn't have these resorts and uh, like uh, foreign tours and all all that was left was places around you and my father he knew that uh, you see we had a large family uh we were uh six of them three brothers and three sisters it was a huge family and uh, well uh, my father thought uh, that uh, what a better way to take them for an outing so to uh, i mean uh, than uh, taking uh, us uh, uh, to the jungle so i think his uh, tours were quite frequent uh, and he often took us uh, in his uh, willis jeep uh, the entire family and we used to stay in deep forest uh, for sometimes uh, uh, four or five days in a stretch so that was a very very uh, thrilling experience anyway i'll share those experience some other time i'll tell you something else uh, i'll tell you my Uh, how uh, i uh, saw tiger for the first time though i seen tigers in the jungle uh, uh, a couple of times which i'll tell you in my uh, future uh, gift goes and uh, vlogs uh, but uh, one distinct uh, incident which has stuck to my mind was uh, when i was when i was uh, uh, i maybe 5 or 6 years old it was a place called latihar in jharkhand uh, there was a huge national park uh, called palamau national park uh, uh, that was specially known for royal indian tigers uh, uh, even in 70s there were uh, not less than uh, 250 tigers uh, for area uh, included 500 square kilometers and that is a huge number of tigers uh, because near tigers they have a certain territory uh, one uh, uh, single uh, you say grown up tiger uh, maintains a territory of uh, 50 kilometers because he's a very swift move 
mover and he covers a lot of distance uh, so uh, uh, for a uh, national park having 450 square kilometers and having 250 tigers that was virtually every square kilometer there was one tiger anyway that was the statistics of that national park but I'll tell you about my experience a very very uh, unique experience I was telling you when I was five and six uh, it was uh, probably uh, uh, middle of May, very uh, scorching uh, heat, uh, and uh, those were the times we, uh, there was uh, there were no air conditioners, uh, no you see desert coolers, uh, and we had only we had the mercy of uh, ceiling fans and uh, the Sarata fans, uh, and uh, mostly there was no electricity, so we had to face uh, the uh, cruel. Uh, onslaught uh, of uh, summer most of the times we had a big house and uh, well i don't know how many rooms were there but there were i think five six bedrooms and uh, uh, there was a huge compound around uh, three four acres uh, uh, one uh, you see night i remember distinctly i woke up uh, uh, after i heard some commotion it was uh, almost 4 30 uh, in the morning and I saw my father holding a gun in his hand and my mother uh, she was uh, in tow and requesting he was she was literally requesting him to be careful because he was uh, worried that uh, something might uh, uh, bad happen and I didn't know I was uh, a small kid I didn't know what is happening why my father is uh, suddenly awake and he's holding a gun and my why my mother is so distraught but even uh, uh, you see at that time uh, oh, I just uh, volunteered to see outside the window it was a huge window and uh, there was still uh, see in 4 30 uh, middle of May it wasn't uh, the sun rays were not appearing it was moonlit uh, early morning and what I saw really simply shocked me I saw not one but five six tigers yes I'm seeing five six tigers in a tow two of them they were fully uh, grown up uh, and three of them they were cubs and uh, they were approaching uh, the uh, one of the wells there were two wells in our compound and uh, uh, they must have traveled a lot and uh, trekked uh, maybe 50 kilometers from the deep jungle and uh, they were searching they came searching uh, for water uh, it was obvious they were thirsty and uh, the young uh, you see uh, cubs were also thirsty so the parents uh, uh, the tigers uh, the father and mother were basically escorting the young ones to quench their thirst and uh, uh, you see normally uh, you see when uh, uh, you uh, you must have seen near wells in villages or the small towns uh, you see normally when you draw water from the wells uh, throughout the day there are a lot of water which is spilled outside the well so a uh, sense uh, in uh, uh, those jungles uh, the in the middle of uh, scorching uh, heat in uh, uh, May onwards, May, June, uh, most of the, uh, you see, water bodies like Nala's uh, uh, small, uh, you see, river streams, they get dried up. So these big cats, uh, they travel a lot of distance and uh, in search of uh, uh, water because they get uh, their food in uh, jungles, but they don't get water. So these uh, tigers, uh, the parents and the children cub uh, tigers they must have traveled a lot of distance and after coming to the foothills the first house they discovered was our big house and I could see all of them and my father I could see my father he was aiming at the biggest cat he was about to squeeze the trigger but the better sense prevailed and he certainly stopped and he may have thought that uh, I'm also a father and I need to look after my children and this big cat is doing the same and he withdrew and just waited for next 10-15 uh, minutes uh, they all quenched their thirst and happily went away and I loved my father for what he did I loved him and uh, well it was early morning and all in the radio was on and I could uh, hear the song coming my father was a huge fan of uh, uh, Bollywood uh, you see evergreen actor uh, Devan and, and one of the, the you see 
well uh, and uh, he also uh, was a huge fan of uh, Kishore Kumar and uh, I could hear the song uh, uh, coming film you see for film uh, very you see popular you see song in those days that uh, song was coming hey ek ladki bhigi bhagi si soti raaton mein jaagi si ek ladki bhigi bhagi si soti raaton mein jaagi si मिली एक अजनबी से कोई आगे न पीछे तुम ही कहो ये कोई बात है एक लड़की भीगी भागी सी सोती रातों में जागी सी मिली एक अजनबी से कोई आगे न पीछे तुम ही कहो ये कोई बात है ओ दिल ही दिल में चली जाती है दिल ही दिल में चली जाती है बिगड़ी बिगड़ी चली जाती है दिल ही दिल में चली जाती है बिगड़ी बिगड़ी चली जाती है झुंझुलाती हुई बल खाती हुई सावन की सुनी रात में मिली एक जुन भी से कोई आगे न पीछे तुम ही कहो ये कोई बात है तुम ही कहो ये कोई बात है एक लड़की भीगी भागे सी सोती रातों को जागे सी मिली एक अजनबी से कोई आगे न पीछे तुम ही कहो ये कोई बात है